Writing one melody isn't challenging enough for you anymore? Try Counterpoint. Counterpoint is the study of how voices interact with each other and how to write multiple melodic lines that are both harmonically connected but melodically independent. It can get pretty complicated. So how do you learn how to do this? Species Counterpoint. I've always thought that this was a really cool name. Species Counterpoint is a step-by-step -step method that teaches students the art of polyphonic melody writing. This method was written by Joseph Fuchs in his treatise Gratis ad Parnassum in 1725. Fuchs's method was broken down into five species, or five levels, of gradually increasing difficulty, and by the end of the method, the student could write counterpoint freely. Before jumping in, there's a few things to go over. First, intervals. All intervals were broken down into three categories categories. Perfect consonances, which included the unison, the fifth, and the octave. Imperfect consonances, which includes the third and the sixth. And dissidences, which includes seconds, fourths, sevenths, and tritones. Motion. There are three kinds of motion that are possible with two voices. Direct motion. When the two voices move in the same direction together. Contrary motion. When the two voices move in different directions. And oblique motion. When one voice stays the same and the other changes direction. There are four basic rules to motion that Fuchs shares with us, but it really can be boiled down to one. No direct motion into a perfect consonance. Or saying another way, avoid parallel fifths and octaves. So let's dive in. First, species counterpoint. In each example, we are given a cantus firmus, a firm melody that we are given that we have to build a melody on top of. The first species of counterpoint is note against note. All of the notes are the same length and they always move at the same time. In this species, we are only to focus on the consonances, the perfect and imperfect. In the second to last measure, we need the second degree in the bass and the leading tone in the upper voice. If we are working in Dorian, such as here, Aeolian, Phrygian, or Mixolydian, we have to raise the seventh degree. This is to create a a perfect cadence at the end of the piece. Second species counterpoint. Second species is two notes against one, two half notes against a whole note. The first beat of every measure will be a consonance, and the second can be either a consonance or a dissonance. If a dissonance is used, it must be approached and followed with stepwise motion. Leaps on the second note must be to a consonant note. We want to end this one the same way. Leading tone in the upper voice and second degree in the bass. third species counterpoint. The third species is four quarter notes against the whole note. This one can get a little more complicated. In general, we want the first and third quarter notes to be consonant and the second and fourth to be dissonant. Sometimes small exceptions are made in this species. You can see here that a leap is made from a dissonant note or here when a dissonant note occurs on the third beat. These small exceptions are made for melodic contour or ease of singing. Check out the study of counterpoint for more exceptions. fourth species counterpoint. The fourth species is based on the art of suspensions. The voices always sound on opposite beats. The bass voice is on the down beats and the upper voice is on the up beats. When writing the note on the second beat, it must be consonant to the cantus firmus, but when the bass note changes, it may create a dissonance. These dissonances must be resolved in certain ways. Fourths go down to thirds, sevenths go down to sixths, and ninths go down to the octave. fifth species counterpoint. The fifth species is a combination of everything we've learned so far, with a little more rhythmic variation allowed. We see the raised leading tone we went over in the first species, the offbeat dissonance we saw in the second and third species, and the suspension principles of the fourth species, with a few sevenths resolving down to the sixths. We also have some ornamentation that can be used in place of stepwise motion. These are usually used on the second and fourth beats and are generally used after syncopations.
After mastering the fifth species in two voices, the student would then go back to the beginning with three and then four voices. Check out the study of counterpoint to learn more. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. If you like what I do here on this channel and want to support it, consider checking out my Patreon. Link is in the description.